What's up, my little pretties? It's your mistress, the Queen of Lions here, and today we are diving into another episode of Shadows and Pretties. Now, this is episode 11. I did a poll on my community tab asking, you know, what kind of, what topic should I cover next for my next episode? And the most views, um, I asked either Titanic or Hercules. And a lot of people have said Hercules. I was surprised. I thought Titanic was going to, like, win. But apparently Titanic will be another episode we'll talk about. But today we are going to be talking about Disney's Hercules that came out in 1997. Now, I guess most kids who were born in the 90s and kids that were growing up in the 90s, like, I b believe pretty much 90s kids would have remembered seeing this movie as a young kid. And, of course, this is basically takes place in Greece. You know, the whole thing right here, the whole fantasy film of Disney that they made, um, Hercules, this is basically a really good story. Now, however, the develop of Hercules, you know, developed around 1992, but, of course... They were also in the redevelopment of their idea for Treasure Planet. So, of course, their project was removed in 1993 for some odd reason. But, of course, Hercules was released in June 13th of 1997. Of course, we're going to say right now that there is a um, direct to vehicle prequel called Hercules Hero to Zero, which, of course, it's basically a, um American an animated fantasy television film. And of course, we all know, I'm going to say right now, that Hercules, the Disney one, also has a TV animated series. You know, like Aladdin had an animated series, The Little Mermaid did. Well, this show did. Like, this movie actually got a, a series, which we're not going to go too much into detail of it because it's basically, you know, kind of similar, but, you know, still. Now, we're going to eventually say, now this is basically, sickly about Roman man person named Hercules, Hercules, who is the son of Zeus, who's in Greek mythology. So, this is basically Greek mythology, Greece kind of, no, well, ancient Greece um, theme, which is really interesting to say the least, least. And I have to say right now that I really love this movie as a young kid and I have to say this movie actually did very well and without further ado I'm gonna recap of the movie you know just for those who um who wanna you know refresh from the movie for those who haven't seen Hercules in a very long time let's begin of course in ancient Greece the gods of course named Zeus and Hera have a son named Hercules while the others gods are joyful of course Zeus grumpy and jealous brother named Hades plots to overthrow Zeus and rule the Olympus. That's turning to the fates for help, and Hades learns that in 18 years, a apparently agreement with alignment will allow him to free the Titans to conquer the Olympus, if only if Hercules does not interfere. So, basically, you know, Zeus has a brother named Hades. You know, that's similar, people. I guess you kind of, you know, see their resemblance that's almost like Lion King, sort of. Well, maybe that's an inspiration, but it's kind of interesting. And, of course, Hades sends two demon minions, Pain and Panic, to murder Hercules by providing him a potion that could strip a good god of immortality. Of course, the two kidnap the baby and take him down to the valley to feed him the potion. Before Hercules drinks the last drop, a farmer named Amphromarphan and his wife Akami pass by and nearby startle the demons. Cause them to drop the bottle and spill the last drop, so Hercules is stripped from immor of immortality, but he remains his godlike strength. Pain and Panic, of course, attempt to ha to murder the baby, but Hercules is overpowers them. So Pain and Panic decides not to report their failure to Hades because they realize, you know, they're gonna, you know, get backlash. Just like this whole thing, it, it kind of, you know, with um Hades be with Hades wanting to kill Hercules as a young kid. That's kind of like um. Reminds me of, um, you know, that Scar, um, wants the hyenas to kill Simba as a young child, well, young cub, so after he kills Mufasa, he can, he won't have anyone to challenge. So, very similar, eh? <laughs> okay, moving on. Of course, years later, the teenage Hercules becomes an outcast and of his unbiable ability to control his strength. 
So he wonders where he comes from, and after his foster parents reveal the Olympic necklace that they found for him, Hercules decides to visit the Temple of Zeus for answers. So the Temple of Statue of Zeus comes to life and tells, reveals all to Hercules, telling him that he can earn his godhood back by becoming a true hero. So Zeus sends Hercules and a forgotten infant, a friend named Pegasus, and to a stare named Phil, who is also known for trained heroes. So Phil ha has been retired in frustration after none of his students managed to pass a consolation of the sky. Zeus obliges Phil to train Hercules anyway. So after completing the training, Hercules and Phil heads towards the Thebes. On the, on the way, they meet a girl named Magra, of course, or Meg. No, you guys are probably like saying, hey, is that Meg from Family Guy? Well, here's one thing. Shut up, Meg. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really had to do that. But anyways, yeah, Magra is, kind of, is like the, um, she was like, yeah, yeah, she basically is, well, the one who Hercules falls in love with. So she's like a sarcastic damsel in distress who Hercules saves from the centrist Nessus. After Hercules and the others leave, Meg is revealed to be a servant of Hades, having her soul, sold her soul to him to save the, her lover who then left her. So, of course, when Megra mentions her encounter with Hercules, Hades realizes that pain and panic failed him and plots to finish Hercules off properly. However, arriving at the Phoebes, Hercules is met with a skepticism by locals, but of course Meg shows up and then says to the two boys that they become trapped in a gorge. So Hercules saves them, unaware that pain and panic in disguise unwillingly releases the Hydra, which of course is like a kind of like a monster Greek Roman mythology monster. So, however, just like Tarzan in this part right here, Hercules defeats it and becomes a celebrated hero. So Hercules goes on and defeats other monsters and his popularity and fortune continue to grow. So basically when Hercules is like saving everybody, it's, it's take Tarzan for example. Tarzan's like saving his, you know, gorilla family from being, you know, killed by Sabor and taken by Clayton, etc. Take that, those from example. You probably have seen some similarities with Tarzan and even Lion King and some other stuff. You might notice that halfway through. Now... Zeus tells Hercules that he's not yet a true hero and refuses to explain what it is. Saddened and frustrated, Hercules spends a day out with Meg, who realizes that she's fallen in love with him. But of course, Hades learns and finds out the, that Eve of his takeover. He holds Meg hostage and offers her exchange for Hercules, least surrounding his powers for a day. On one condition that Meg will be unharmed, he accepts it and is heartbroken when Hercules reveals that Meg was working for Hades all along. You know, kind of similar to, you know, some other, you know, movies. You probably may have, you know, noticed that. Hades unleashes the Titans, who climbed on Optimus and, of course, the creature gods, while Cyclops gets over to the to the Phoebes to kill Hercules. Of course, Hercules defeats the Cyclops, but Meg is, in, is mortally injured when a pillar collapses on her. And this breaks Hades', Hades promise that Meg would not be harmed. So, of course, Hercules regains his strength and rescue. And Hercules and Pegasus flies to Olympus when they free the gods and vanquishes the Titans. But of course, Meg dies before he returns to her. So later on, Hercules goes to the underworld and leaps into the river of Nyx to recover Meg's soul. And this would act as fatal for a mortal, willing to sacrifice himself. Heroically to, to act to restore his godhood, Hercules climbs out of the sticks with Meg's soul and knocks Hades into it. After reviving Meg, she and Hercules are summoned by Olympus where Zeus and Hera welcome their son home. However, Hercules choose to remain on Earth with Meg, and Hercules and his friends return to the Thebes. While they were watched for Zeus and Constellation and Hercules' honor. So, what a great Disney movie, I definitely have to say. Like, the characters himself in here, and even, um... And even, you know... The characters in here were just absolutely amazing. Like, the development was just flat-out amazing, so... Yeah, the movie itself, I honestly have to say, you know, based on the real story of Hercules, it's really, really messed up and pretty, um, pretty dark as well at certain parts. But, you know, the movie itself is pretty good. Now, here's one thing I'm going to definitely say. Um, on April 29th, 2020, it was reported that a live action of Hercules is being developed with, you know, certain new actors and stuff like that. And, of course, they... they 
certain people right there that um, are going to make the live action remake of Hercules. And of course, it's like a CG, the same people who made the CGI remake of Lion King. So, but of course, they, the, this film right here is expected to feature some songs from the original film. But of course, we don't really know about it really quite yet. Like, we don't know about it, you know, really yet. We don't, I don't, we don't really know when it's coming out. I believe it's coming out either, um, I don't know. Um, I guess it might come out maybe probably, um, next year. Probably next year or, um, 2022. I don't know, actually. But that's, like, a really big question that I do have to say that, you know, I'm not sure when Hercules is exactly coming out. It's still in development as far as I know. So it may be for maybe out in two years, which would be kind of interesting because I would really love to see uh, a new, the Hercules um, remake. And I really wonder if the remake of Hercules was actually going to be, you know, pretty good. Now, of course, there is a real story of Hercules which, of course, um, is very different compared to Disney. So, of course, the thing is still the same, but, of course, the moral woman was Alkmine, and Zeus, who is always ways the chase and said one woman or, or another, look on the form of Alkmine's husband, of course, visits sits Alkmine one night in bed, so Hercules was born a demigod with incredible power and stigma. So, Basically, the real-life story of Hercules is very different compared to the other ones. It's very different, so. So, of course, we could, as they say, he performs mazed in feats, including wrestling death with, of course, or as Hera, the wife of Zeus, knew that Hercules was her husband's illegitimated son and sought to destroy him. In fact, he was born with the name Achilles and later took the name Hercules, meaning glory of Hera signifying that she would be famous for all the difficulties with the goddess. Now, very messed up up in the, you know, very messed up story of Hercules. So, so Hercules would basically, you know, surprisingly enough, 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 what I'm going to say right now is Hera sends serpents to kill Hercules in his cradle. However, Hercules strangles both of the snakes to death. In one vision of the myth, Achaemenes came abandoned her baby in the woods in order to protect him from Hera's wrath. But of course, he was found by the goddess Ethena, who brought him them to Hera, claiming that he was an orphan. The child left in the woods, so of course Hera suckled Hercules, her own son, until the. Of course, she basically, you know, very messed up. I'm gonna say I'm not going too much into detail, but. The story of Hercules was very different compared to the Disney one. Like, it had more violence, it had more, you know, messed up concepts, it had, um, ventures, slavery, and even has, you know... No, Hercules even dies in there when he climbs to Mount Enta where he built his own funeral prayer and clearing his way, giving us positions. So basically, he does die in this, the original version, in this, like, the original story. Yeah, surprise some of this in the, the actual story didn't make it to the Disney film, which I can agree, like, if they if Disney were to add any of that to the original Hercules, it would have gotten, you know, a lot of backlash. Disney would have got, you know, a lot of hate over doing that. But, you know, despite the movie, you know, being really good and stuff like that, this movie was actually pretty surprisingly dark at certain parts, but it actually did pretty good at the same time. Now... The songs in this movie are just absolutely amazing. Like, we get the I Can Go to Distance song. You know, that's basically about Hercules Lee's journey begins. And that's basically what the song means. And, of course, we also do see, you know, some other songs like, um... There's even, um, I Won't Say I'm in Love. That's basically, you know, Megra was, like, thinking that she's not in love with Hercules. Well, FYI, she was. So, I could definitely say right here is that, you know... The whole story of Hercules, the dark origins of him, is not like the Disney movie. Well, Disney had to take away the dark parts so they can, you know, make it more child-friendly and not sit there and, you know, get backlash after releasing the movie that is messed up. Now, now I'm going to wrap up this episode because, you know, there's a lot I could talk about more and more, but it's getting really, you know, it's confusing. 
to say the least. And, you know, it's really messed up at the same time. You know, I find this story to be good. But at the same time, it is messed up at certain parts. Like, I'm not gonna, you know, don't get me wrong. It is me messed up at parts, too. Even Disney did a pretty good job on animating the characters and stuff like that. Which is really, really cool, if you could be honest. Now, I know some parts of the Disney Hercules movie didn't have some, you know, elements from the Dark Origins. Well, they kind of, you know, based on that. But except they wanted to make it more kid-friendly. So then it's really easy for Disney to not get backlash over any of that. Now the Hades character, I honestly found him to be a really interesting character. And I could definitely say there was like a lot of great, great, awesome, you know, concept. And the animation was just flat out amazing. I honestly do think that the um, actors and actresses did a good job. I think that the producers did a good job on it. And even the directors as well. They did obviously really well done now anyways what do you all think about hercules the disney one do you all like it do you not also what we have done personally to help make this um well hercules movie a lot better now if you guys have not seen hercules i highly recommend you check out the disney movie as the disney movie of it is really good i highly recommend you check out that movie if you haven't seen it and anyways um, I will be seeing you all in the next video. Peace out, and I will catch you all later. Thank you for tuning in to Shadows and Pretties, episode 11.